one of the most exciting races of the year here in Colorado, the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Time for another break. When we come back. For 23 years, teams and drivers have been putting forward their best effort to break 10 minutes. He's getting ready to come up to the starting line for his historic run to try and break that 10 minute barrier. We're bringing as much horsepower, the best drivetrain we can put together, the best brakes and suspension, and the best aerodynamic package. We're going for the overall win. It's something I've wanted for 10 years. Right, we are waiting for Reeves Villain's Hyundai. Right now we are just there up here. The crew is just making their final check. Reeves Villain's climbing into the car. They're shutting the door right now. I can see that. This car's a new generation car for this whole time. So it's, its emphasis is to work better on the pavement than the gravel. Will it be enough to break the 10 minute barrier? Only time will tell. The road has progressed, but maybe the right package is not being there to adapt to the progression of the road. I believe that our package that we have this year, with the increased pavement on the road, this is year the record's gonna fall. Actually, Reeves and Millen just took out from the starting line here. That was the Batmobile in itself, it in the flesh. The and look at the speed on that car, unbelievable. You know, I've done many races um, throughout the world. You know, you come to Pikes Peak and, and you're like, it's only 12 and a half miles. But in that 12 and a half miles, there's 5,000 feet of elevation change, 156 corners. And it's a sprint race. If you are squeezing every ounce of focus from you as an individual and performance from the vehicle, and that's what really puts this event number one on my list. So Reed Millen is on the course right now. He's coming up to Ragged Edge. Will it be enough for him to be able to break that 10 minute barrier? Here he comes right now in the Hyundai uh, Genesis. He's coming up to the first leg of the uh, double cut. As he's coming up to 16 miles, we're beginning to see some rain, some moisture starting to uh, hit this race course. You know, keep in mind that the weather conditions, the road conditions dictate how fast you're going to go on race day. It continues to rain lightly, and here it comes right now. Where East Mellon just made it past the snowy finish line. Now, as of today, as of right now, that 10 minute barrier has not been broken. As you can see, this weather moving and how it just hailed on me coming up the hill. And I've always said, number one, you got to race this mountain before you race your competition. And this is a race like no other. We had a solid run as far as the engine was concerned, and that was number one this year. The chassis was new. We knew we were behind on the setup. We had some shifting issues off the start line that compiled to me being a little frustrated, spinning, and then we lost the brakes in the W. So we just kind of crept up to the end. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any overall records to drop today in the unlimited division. Dan, back to you. Now we've got 12 months to tune the chassis. We'll be back. Pipes Peak. It'll beat you up. <laughs>